All right, coming up next is a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. It's who we first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, the gentleman. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, go into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Punch coming, it's blocked. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, that's how you throw a combination. Beautiful stuff there. Superman punch now. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Big call from Punch Lance. Now he gets back to range. 
slips the punch. And they clinch once again. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA fall and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Just out of range with that right hand. That one stuck in. Nice play. Single collar tie now. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Unable to connect there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. They continue to exchange. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Good jab. Lost the shot. Look at him drive his shin into the front of body with that body kick. And he lands in a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. to realize his opponent's now dropping his arms. Nice punch lands over the top. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh! Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight! I mean, he's cutting him down the side with his beautiful leg kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big left hook there. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, here we go with round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just misses with a left hook there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. Oh! Oh! Finish down now. All right, 
Yeah, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Ground and pound strike is true. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, trip and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Good punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Try to establish that jab. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Lands the double jab. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Nice. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Man. Oh, straight right. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Beautiful punch. at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Starting to do some really well. He's out. It's over. It's over. What a performance. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for all replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, two seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Iron. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done.